Hello, hello, Blake Hart here today. Excited to talk about this amazing side hustle. So it's been a busy few weeks at work and uh, I was thinking, the other day I was just thinking about, um, I work with a lot of small businesses, okay? I work with a lot of small businesses. My company works with small businesses uh, and medium sized businesses and I get to see a lot of different businesses, which is really, really cool. And I started thinking to myself, Wedding DJing is really the ultimate side hustle. The ultimate side hustle business that you can start on your own. Just you. With maybe limited knowledge, but a love for music and a love for people. And uh, yeah, and, and you could go out there and in a fairly short amount of time, make money in any market, <laughs> anywhere, right? Everybody's having weddings. Uh, yeah, COVID put a little dent in the uh, industry for a little while, but people are always going to get married. <laughs> so they have started getting married again. And it is just a really, really, really great side hustle. So I wanted to talk a little bit about why I believe anybody can start their own wedding DJ business and be successful at it if that's what you truly want. So I started my own DJ business on my own. I started on my own. So I was a nightclub DJ. I was doing nightclubs and um, I did a few weddings here and there because people had asked me, um, patrons of those clubs, you know, so I, I, I got a taste of it. And uh, people were like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta start doing weddings because there's like a lot of money there. And uh, I was in law school at the time. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'll like, okay, maybe I'll like look into that. Uh, you know, time went by and I was like, I really do need to look into this. And I got deeper and deeper in it. And I'm like, I'm going to start my own wedding DJ business. I can do this. I can absolutely do this. And obviously it was a bit harder back in the day. Uh, I decided to do it on my own. Like I didn't, you know, number one, I'm a woman, right? So that's like right off the bat. How many, how many, I think about like 20 years ago, how many female DJs were there? Nonetheless, female wedding DJs. Uh, so I, I decided, all right, I heard about this guy, Randy Bartlett. He makes these DVDs. Let me like get some of these DVDs and see what, what he's talking about, right? He's going to show me how to DJ a wedding, like for real, for real. So let's dive into these. <laughs> if any of you are familiar, and these are the days before YouTube, like Randy Bartlett, good for the guy making the DVDs and all that. Like I'm glad he shared his knowledge, but not necessarily my style. And I knew that right off the bat. But there were nuggets in these DVDs that I needed to learn and I needed to know to be able to elevate my skills as a wedding DJ. So I listened. So good old Randy Bartlett, he helped me, helped me get to the, get comfortable and, and doing all the things involved in a wedding. And I created this side hustle that I was able to do on my own. Uh, started word of mouth, a little bit on Craigslist, uh, you know, charging cheap money. And then slowly just kept increasing my prices as my skills increased uh, and I felt more confident and that I could charge more. Um, I said that slowly, but you know what? Never be too slow at that. Always be much more um, quick to do that than when you think you should. But let's go into this a little bit because this is why I think it's the ultimate side hustle. One, you can do it on your own, okay? You don't need to have a helper or anything. Like I did it on my own. My girlfriend at the time, if it was a really, really big wedding, um, that was, you know, a lot of like a big wedding party and just a really big wedding, I would have her come help me a little bit. But there are lots of times I was alone. I'd get the wedding party set up. I, I did a lot of pre-planning beforehand, but I'd get the wedding party set up and really do that introductions of the wedding party into the first dance as I was playing the music and all of that stuff using a headphone, um, a, head, head, a headset microphone. Um, so I was able to do it all. Is that for everybody? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't I'm not like superhuman or anything, right? So just like managing time and uh, pre-planning and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'd really like to think that if you wanted to do this on your own, you could. Now, part of that is your gear, right? Um, you know, <laughs> a lot of us see some of the gear other DJs have, and we think we need everything under the sun to be able to provide to 
our wedding clients. And the truth is, um, and I will be making that niche two video, um, but the truth is, you know what? There are all different kinds of clients out there and not everybody wants to have all the extras. Some people just concentrate on the music, right? That's what they want. They want you to come and rock their wedding, provide great music, um, you know, do a great job. Your, you know, obviously your personality um, in commanding the whole event and the flow of the event and all that. Um, you know, they're not necessarily people that want all of the extras. So don't feel like you have to provide that, right? So if you've just got, you know, your speakers, your setup, your gear, your uh, wireless um, microphone, that kind of stuff, like, you're good, right? You're good. You, you don't, you know, you, you have your backups, your cables, whatever. You don't need to have, like, five 50-inch plasma TVs and, like, these trusses and, like, all the moving lights or whatever. You don't need to have all that. So I just want you to know, like, you don't need to have all that, <laughs> okay? And this is what's cool, because the barrier entry for getting into DJing as a side hustle, right? It's low, right? Gear is so much more available nowadays at a better price, better gear at a better price than it was back in the day. Now you can pick yourself up, you know, whatever, $607 controller, your set, small mixer, nice speakers, nice wireless microphone system, and you're good. Don't cheap out on your speakers and don't cheap out on your wireless mic system. Speakers, you don't want to sound like crap, okay? So that's important because people will remember if you sound like crap. And wireless mic, another thing. You don't want to sound like crap. You don't want it cutting out. I mean, you, you people are giving speeches. They're talking about important things. You don't want your wireless mic to be a shitty mic. That's like not working well, okay? You want it to be a good mic. <laughs> so don't cheap out on those things. But all of these things are really, really affordable. Um, and I feel like for a few thousand dollars, for sure, you can definitely get up and going and doing this as a side hustle. And maybe you can't buy the best speakers right off the bat. There's something else you want. Maybe you want like those upper end Bose speakers or uh, the other countless amazing speakers there are, you know, work up to that, right? Maybe that's in year two. Maybe that's in year three. Maybe, you know, work up to that. All right. So like we're going through a few fundamentals here. I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page because I don't I don't want people watching this video and thinking that they have what it takes to be a wedding DJ when maybe they don't. So let's talk about another thing. People skills. Very, very important. People skills are super important. Not only are you going to be talking to the couple that's hiring you to DJ their wedding, but you're going to maybe be interacting with their parents or the wedding party. And then the day of the wedding, who are you going to be dealing with? Depending on the venue, different venues are run different ways, but there's going to be somebody in charge, right? There's going to be somebody in charge of the floor, of the food, of whatever's going on. And you need to be able to work with that person. So you need to have people skills. The vendors, there's going to be vendors like the photographer, who is another important person that you need to work with because you're both there trying to provide the best services that you can to make this wedding amazing. Because that's the other thing. This wedding day is the most important day of this couple's life. Most important day. All right, so where I am now in my life, I can look back and say, okay, well, there's a lot of other important days. But up to this point, this is going to be the most important day in their life. And you do not want to screw it up. So you need to take that seriously. There's a lot riding on this. So when I say this is doable, anybody who wants to can be a wedding DJ, can do it on the side as a side hustle. It still means you have to put the time, the effort, um, and, and commitment into learning how to be a wedding DJ, right? There are skills that you need to have. If you've never mixed music before, you need to be able to mix music. You need to know your music. You need to know how to read the dance floor. Um, you need to understand how to set up a wedding timeline, like what works, what doesn't. How, how that whole timeline functions where you live because that varies uh, regionally in terms of, you know, do they dance before dinner? Do they dance just after dinner? Like, when's the first dance? Whatever. You know, yeah, nowadays a lot of people are making it what they want to make it, but there are still certain regional timelines that happen. 
Okay, so there's a lot of expectations for you as a DJ on that wedding day and you need to be able to come through because if you can't come through and provide the services that you're saying you're going to provide then your business is not going to go anywhere that good because tell you what word of mouth is really important in this business for sure for sure <laughs> so I need you to have that confidence that you can do this so let this brings us to this other point um you may be saying well all right so you get mix in, you got the skills, you maybe you, you 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 set up your business, you got some business cards, you went on Fiverr, you got some branding going on, you got your website, you're like, all right, we're doing this, you got your business banking account, maybe you're DBA, doing business ads, depending on what your name is, you're like, all right, I'm legit, got a business going on here, right? Like, how do you get business? <laughs> how, how does anyone hire you? Okay, so there are a few avenues here. Wedding, wire, or the not, but I'd say wedding wire for somebody just starting out. Um, you'd be surprised. I mean, you know what? There's there's a lot of DJs on there, but you still get business, right? But there's an investment because you have to pay for a year. And so there's definitely an investment there. So what if you don't have the money to make that investment? Craigslist or similar. I know what you're thinking right now. What? Blake Craigslist? Are you kidding me? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out on this. There are people out there who are looking for wedding DJs for as little as possible. They don't want to spend enough, a lot. They don't have high expectations, right? Like, okay, so maybe you can find somebody who wants to hire you, 250 bucks. They have $250 expectations of you. You're a new DJ, right? This is perfect. This is the perfect way to learn how to be awesome at your craft, okay? It's like if you go and you buy a $3 pair of jeans at Walmart or you buy a $300 pair of jeans at Nordstrom. Well, that $3 pair of jeans, you're like, yeah, I don't expect much out of the $3 pair of jeans. But the $300 pair, you're like, hell, these better be damn good jeans. Same idea here with wedding DJs, right? And when you just start out, it's understandable you are not. And please don't do this. Please don't hop into this as a side hustle. And like, just start out charging like, whatever, even a thousand dollars. No, don't do that. Like you really need to put yourself in a place where you are um, learning, you know, where where you can acknowledge the fact that you are not a thousand dollar DJ. Yeah, people say fake it till you make it. I don't firmly agree with that statement. I think that we all have to be self-aware of the quality of services that we're able to provide depending on our current skill set. And if you're new at this, you are not a thousand dollar wedding DJ, okay? Let's face it. Um, so yeah, so so like, get that straight. But beyond all this, like this industry, like hopping into being a wedding DJ as a side hustle, wow. If you stick with it, if you build your craft, if you keep moving forward, you keep raising your prices, it's definitely really, really a great viable side hustle. All right, so let's say that you get into this and you get to $2,000 a wedding and it's just you. You're the one with the, you know, leaving with the 2000 bucks. You don't have to pay any helpers, any staff, whatever. Let's just go at it that way. So let's say you do 20 weddings. So if you do 20 weddings in a season, like depending on you, where you are, like the wedding season might not be all year. Like I'm in the, in New Jersey and, you know, like, or, or Northeast here, like people aren't, there's not a lot of people getting married in the winter, okay? So it's a limited season. Let's say you get up to 20 weddings per season at $2,000, that's $40,000, okay? Um, it's important to know that obviously there's going to be income taxes taking out of that. So that's not all like purely your profit to keep. But if you're watching, you know, your expenses and you're not buying too much gear, like, dang, that's a pretty good side hustle for something you can just do on the weekends. Now, there's a caveat to that, right? It's not just on the weekends. There's other work that goes into getting ready to DJ a wedding. Okay, there's a timeline, there's all there's customer service, there's questions that come up, there's planning, there's just stuff. But the cool thing is, is I feel like in today's day and age, like that's pretty easy to handle. Like it's not like too bad. 
you do have to be good at customer service and understand that your clients are not going to have needs from you. But especially with like a lot of people working from home nowadays, right? If you have a gig where you work from home, you definitely have the bandwidth <laughs> to handle what you need to handle during the week for your weekend side hustle. Like for sure. No questions. No questions about that. Um, but yeah, it's a, a really great opportunity. So I just wanted to make a video, talk about it a little bit. Uh, I could go down so many other rabbit holes with this here, but I, I think this just keeps it um, surface level. There's a lot of opportunity being a wedding DJ as a side hustle. And a lot of people, I mean, if you watch this video and you're thinking like, hey, no, like you shouldn't, you shouldn't teach yourself. You should uh, start with a multi-op or something like that, working for somebody else, getting that experience. You know what? There's so many things uh, in life that people don't do the same way. I didn't start my business that way. Maybe you did, and that worked for you. Uh, but I, I think there's other ways to go about it. Like you don't necessarily have to work for somebody else if you know, even when you're just starting. Uh, yeah, that's a great way to get some knowledge. But it's still sort of like you know, it's a little bit like YouTube, right? You just got to be able to sift through the good and the bad. Not everything that you're learning. Um, is going to work for you, is going to work for your business, is going to work for who you are, because we're all different people. Um, and there's all different couples out there in the wedding market. Uh, and there's no, you know, a lot of times there's, there's five different ways to do the same thing, and they're all just as good. So I don't want anyone to get down if they feel like they can't find a, a multi-op to work for, or can't get those opportunities. Because at the end of the day, you make those opportunities. You are in charge of your destiny. And if you really, really want to be a wedding DJ, want that to be your side hustle, I have faith in you. You just need to have confidence in yourself. And that's a big thing, right? You have to have that confidence as a wedding DJ. And any of you watching this, I mean, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, you can't walk into a situation, walk into a room, be the DJ, um, somebody's you know most important day of their life and not exude confidence it's not cockiness because nobody likes a cocky dj that just talks too much and is just like shut up like nobody wants that it's just an air of confidence where your couples know that they're in good hands with you because you're good with people you're great with music. Like you really, really know your music and you know how to rock the dance floor. All right. And you're accountable. <laughs> you're going to do, you know, based on you're going to do what you're saying you're going to do. Right. You, you have the ability. You, you, you're capable. Like you're, you're capable of this job, this craft. You're capable. Right. All these things are important things. Man, did I go off on too many tangents? Because I got to tell you, this is the second time I filmed this video because the first video was over 20 minutes long. I'm like, Blake, what are you talking about? Like, how much are you talking about? How much can I possibly jam into one video? I don't know. I just put me in front of a camera and my mouth just starts going. Thank you guys for watching this today. I really appreciate you. I have so many video ideas, so many. I have a notebook. Just I just write them all down, write them all down. Uh, so a lot of good stuff to come. I just got to find time to film. Uh, but but a lot of good things to come. So like I said, like I'm involved with small businesses. And uh, I want to use some of that knowledge too to, to, to help you guys. Because starting a business can seem really overwhelming. Initially, it feels like there's a lot of stuff you need to do. But the reality is, it's not that bad. Okay? Yeah, there's some important things, right? Because it's more than playing the music <laughs> and rocking the mic. Um, there's more involved. But I think that even the average person can handle running a business. If, again, if, going back to this, if that's what you really want, right? You have to be really motivated. You have to be motivated to learn the things that maybe you don't know and build up the skills that maybe you're not that good at right now. But it doesn't mean that you can't learn and that you can't be that person that has an amazingly successful side hustle as a wedding DJ making 40,000 plus a year. You can do it. 
because I believe that if I could do it, it is definitely, definitely achievable by so many of you who are watching this video right now, if that is what you want for yourself. So again, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.